Matt, if you could, could you provide like some, I'm gonna give you two scenarios. We're now into the fall, entering into the winter. So there's a couple of things going on. Leaves are falling, temperatures are dropping, soil temps are dropping. Uh, we've got frost and all of that stuff happening. Um, people that have just done renovations or did overseedings, what can they expect from their lawn what, do, what can they expect it to look like or things that would happen during this period of time? Yeah, so um, I guess I'll, I'll put it this way and it's going to be a little bit harsh, but you give up trying to preserve the aesthetic right now. Um, once we start hitting regular frost, frost are going to ding it. And you may have a frost and then two weeks for the next two weeks, it's going to be decently temperatured and you'll get a little bit of growth and then it's going to have a yellow haze across the, the surface of the grass and people are going to panic and be like, oh, I need to put something on it. What do I need to do? What do I need to do? Nothing. Just leave it alone. Chill out. Once the, the frost start, just be done. You know, don't don't let the leaves pile up in certain areas. So, you know, if you got to get a few leaves off or whatever, or run your mulcher over it to, to chop up the leaves. Call it good, uh, but but now's the time to to be you know, planning for next year. Start thinking about next year. Um, and here's the thing: even if you're not at 100% coverage right now, say you're at like 98% coverage or 96% coverage, don't panic because a lot of, ma of uh, plant maturation is going to occur in the spring. So literally check out right now and that that would be my advice to everybody calm down chill out check out get a bottle of whiskey start drinking you know stay warm Perfect. by the fire kind of sort of thing um don't worry about the grass i love it i love it <laughs> that's, that's, that's all i can say this color that you see in the back right now i'll be 100 percent honest it's gone <laughs> it is yeah. it is gone um we've had some pretty cold low 20s for multiple days in that color has checked out uh it, it's it's just done um but i wanted to to just kind of reiterate to the to the community that it's, <laughs> it's time to just let it go at this point like you, you if you haven't done it by now wait until the spring yeah, I mean, and listen, you can try and here's the thing. After you get a, 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 a hard freeze on it, that's all the cell rupturing that's going to take place, really, you know, and, and what's going to create that discoloration. And it's not going to go anywhere until either you cut it all out. And in some instances, that means, you know, you may have to scalp it down to the ground and scalping it to the ground right now doesn't make any sense. Or you get enough growth to grow it out, right? And nobody's going to get enough growth to grow it out. There's no amount of fertilizer in the world that's going to grow it out. And so you, I hear, you know, this is kind of old, uh, old wives tale you'd hear on, on the golf courses, right? Is um, before a frost going out with like potassium nitrate or calcium, something that's real salty, um, potassium, potassium chloride to try and keep the grass from freezing, right? right. So you raise the salt right. content in the leaf of the grass. Uh, to that way you, you raise the uh, you lower the freeze point of it and you may keep it green for another two weeks or whatever we're beyond that if you've if you've had a hard frost or hard freeze and it actually froze your grass up to that point you're beyond it you're not getting it back hang your hat up there's no point in even chasing that at the time you know you know back in in 2005 2006 that, that was like the cool thing to do because uh, you got a few more rounds out of your course or whatever but um you know conventional wisdom is to to, to tell us that that's actually that's actually not a good thing to try and uh prolong that period of, of letting it shut down let nature take over you know it's 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 we'll never win the war against nature you know you may win a battle here and there but at the end of the day you know we we got to check out and let it do what it's going to do because it, it's what's winning <laughs>